Hello everyone, it's Bonnie Blindbox here and today I will be showcasing you Comic Con May the 27th which is a Saturday. Um, I've been to Comic Con quite a few times now. I've been cosplaying for um, most of the time that I've been there and I've seen Comic Con change um, every year that I've been there. So I'm just showing you now everyone walking in. So this is the queuing system. And it's really nice to see the different ages, um, watch what's trending. So you get to see video game characters, manga characters, anime characters, Marvel, all sorts of things. Um, it's just nice that people seem to be partaking more in this side of the of um, their fandoms because people haven't you people didn't use the cosplay as much as they did so yeah everyone everyone seems to be in cosplay at least for the most part but um yeah it was it was really busy that day i'd say the saturday is one of the busiest days to go if you are going to go to comic con so yeah i'm sure you can see how busy it is just from the amount of people that were there i was surprised that the arcade machines were there they're not usually there unless that i missed them you got VR headset. I remember when that first came out. Really, I was the first one to try it at Comic Con. Got a banana. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe because this is my first vlog, um, and I will just narrate over the top of it now and then. I hope you enjoy the video. So I'm not sure what stage this is, it may show you in the video, um, but I've never seen sumo wrestling or comic con before, so that was pretty fun.
What's your name, young man? Demis. And where are you from, Demis? He's come all the way from Bulgaria to fight the British champion. I suspect you've done a bit in the past, haven't you? The Bulgarians are very good at weightlifting and wrestling. So you may be able to tell here that they got someone from the audience. I'm not sure if this was staged or not. I reckon that it probably was because for someone to be fit enough to tackle a sumo wrestler is uh, very questionable. So yeah, you can think for yourself on that one. He just full out beat a sumo wrestler. I don't know what to say. He didn't win this one though, so it's really hard to tell who's uh, the fittest, isn't it? Especially with uh, sumo wrestling. Not that I know much about sumo wrestling. So now we found our way at Art Box. They have a lot of cute uh, items such as Karomi, My Melody, Cinnamon Roll. Um, they have these little kind of plushies. They have BT21 in the back. They have um, a large variety of different stuff. Um, they have like cups, pans, pots. Plushies, but it seemed to be mainly plushies. I love these plushies here. They're so cute Couldn't always tell the price though and um, sometimes it's hard to find the prices on these on these things So yeah, there you can see there's different kinds of um, Products here you got Rulakuma, Pusheen You got some Eater bags where you can put your pins in it and there's Pusheen I used to love Pusheen I still love Pusheen but I don't buy their stuff as much as I used to that's my sister so cute she loves Rilakkama Yeah, they're all different prices 
I was surprised to see that they sell eyelashes. The berries were nice there. I love these little My Melody plushies in the outfits. So cute. I just love ones like that. And you can see that that art box is from Covent Garden. So here we was just looking around and you can see lots of different vendors. Sometimes it was so busy that I couldn't actually get to the, to the place. I'm surprised that they had that dog um, thing there. That's, that's not usually there. These were nice. I think these were really big uh, mouse mats, like gaming mats for your PC or something. You got more print artwork there. Then you have the figurines. I think those were um, pop dolls there as well. There's always some pop dolls. Oh, I loved these. I love these little Tyranian Pokeballs with the Pokemon inside. I think my mum was also showing me these to get these on camera. It's just beautiful. I think these are probably handmade as well. I think it says do not touch, so maybe they're a little bit fragile. They had loads of Pokemon stuff here. So I think it's Pokemon Center, I'll probably say that in the video. This is on Pokemon Center. Yeah. So you can see the prices there as well. £12, £22. Wasn't always obvious for the prices of these either. Um, but I think the guy in the back was putting the prices more easily on display. Totoro. I need to watch Totoro again actually. That's Ponyo there. So we've got the Studio Ghibli merch there. And it looked like it was official merch as well. I didn't go through all of it. But I did see some of them at the actual Pokemon Center. I really like the artwork of this person. So the badges are really cute. I always like buying badges, especially with, like, with cats or animals on them. Um, to display in eater bags. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's the bags that have the clear the clear case for you to display pins and such in it or even little plushies. But I just love this artwork. You can see my sister there. And there's me. <laughs> so here I was trying to see if they had um, the 2B sword or from from near or uh, 9S sword. Um, but I couldn't really recognise it. Not very well versed with the swords from there anyway, so I may not... It may have been there, but I may not have recognised it. But I was going to buy one online. But swords are so expensive to ship, so I would recommend that you buy them when you're actually there. I always love going to this store. They always have loads of different uh, plushes. You can see loads of different kinds of animes and mangas here. You've got Sonic up there. I think my mum was saying that um, we have a Sonic like that, an old one. That was a Lumine doll from Genshin Impact, Spy Family, Anya. And my sister picked up a My Melody plush. That's Chongyun from Genshin Impact. You've got Dr. Eggman. I think that one was from Chainsaw Man some Pokemon yeah I love these ones with the little outfits on them I think that was 28 pounds you've got some other prices there 30 you've got some Hatsune Miku one is it oh wow yeah so we found That's a really five good. pound Bulbasaur there was a few other silver ones there for that price which was a really good price actually so I would recommend to get one. I was going to get one, but I didn't because I thought I've got too many plushies anyways. I think that purse was um, Naruto the frog. I haven't watched Naruto in a long time, but I kind of recognise that. 
got a cute hat and those tights there. Those tights used to be really popular with the little uh, cat face on it. And that bag there with the LED screen is really cool. I think it was about £90. I do want to get myself one of them but I can't justify that price right now. But you could add, you could advertise yourself on them or play GIFs or GIFs, however, you, however people say it, I don't know. And these were like Viking horns. I don't know what they're made of. Um, I think this that store is usually there for like D and D fans. Her dress was amazing. And this is where you get to see all of the voice actors. So you can you can pay to uh, get your picture taken with them. Oh, that guy there is quite funny. I think he's from Pokemon Go. Was it Professor Willow? Yeah. So this was interesting as well. So these were VHS tapes from Pokemon. Um, we still have some, but we were slowly getting rid of them. But it seems that they're coming back because a lot of people seem to have bought those. I don't know what that arcade thing was, but um, it's, there's so much going on. You really can't just look at all, look at it all in one day. It's just impossible. So these are really cute. It had nice um, designs on it. And I think he'll show you, but there's a sign up there that says um, you get 50% off if you buy matching items. Yeah, so, the, so if you purchase the, one of the outfits and the accessories, you can get it for half the price. It includes shirts, um, petticoats and accessories. This is up there. So something I noticed with this um, con is there were so many people outside. I didn't actually go outside but there, I've noticed that I don't think people are spending as much money as they used to um, and I think people are cosplaying more and they're meeting people outside from similar fandoms to take pictures. So that's something quite nice even if you come to not spend much money you can dress up and you can meet people outside you can take pictures with them and socialize i mean i'm not sure how good i would be at that but um yeah the more you know and this is the first time pop mart has been there as far as i'm aware and we love pop mart they had a lot of different collections here some of them i hadn't seen before um but I don't keep super up to date with it. I just kind of, I just kind of look in the shop whenever I go because I would be buying pop marts all the time and I don't have the space for that. But they had some very popular ones that always seem to sell out when I go to the shop in Soho. So it was nice to um, have a bit of variety, I suppose. But yeah, a lot of different ones that I hadn't seen before. You've got Hello Kitty there, Minions. They had a lot more here than in the shop. Like, look at this one. I've never seen this one before. Spring Fantasy. Spring Fantasy. Yeah, it's really nice that one. I like the kind of like pinky and green. Like, it goes over it. Yeah. So cute. But like, I'm trying this here. This is interesting. This uh, mug one here at the 
for that. Yeah, if you really like some ones. Yeah, I really. Yeah, like are you gonna get one? For sure. Yeah, look how popular they are as well. Yeah, because they're all sold out. Okay. This one's for like. Oh, you don't need to get that one. Why are you wanting to? No. No, yeah. you don't have to. Oh, I'm, I'm already in debt to everyone. I'll give it to you as a gift. Okay. Okay, no, you don't need to get me one. It's alright, I'll get you one. That one's quite heavy, like there's no part extra This parts. one. Like there's no extra parts in that. So it'd be like. Yeah, but it looks like most of them are like a, a full one, one, one piece figurine, whereas uh, some of them uh, yeah, it's hard to has tell. like uh, additional little bits that come with it. So. Hard to tell. Yeah. How about you go with this one and I'll go with this one? I get the same one as you. This one's quite heavy. They've normally run out of this yeah. one, don't they? So we get that one. We'll get one each of that one if you want it. Because I know that you've been trying to get that one, haven't you? So. Could we all just say yeah. thank you to my mum for buying me a pot mart? Like my mum is my saviour. And <laughs> you may see her hat a lot in this video. And to be honest, this channel should be all of these my mum's adventures. <laughs> because my mum is always with us, you know, me and my sister. And I wouldn't have it any other way. So yeah. One of these. No, no, they have. It is bubble tea. Look, got like a Starbucks yeah. one, rainbow one. It's quite inspiring. Yeah. Oh. Best sellers. Yeah, that one always goes to them. You want that one or you want it? Popular one. I have more options. <laughs> 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 to contest every single one. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to. Honestly, people must think we are so crazy. Yeah. Just the three of us. I think we're really funny. Like comedic together um yeah you can just see us kind of being indecisive and trying to choose the one that we want you know that one might be the one with the bathtub this is the heavy one not that we can properly tell i indeed got the bathtub one yes i got the bathtub baby one So here we um, we was watching a bit of Mulan. I'm not sure if they were showing some other stuff, but there usually is a booklet you can get. So I think that they show different anime and stuff that you can watch. But I don't really go there for that, so I don't usually go and sit in there. But to be honest, it was nice to sit in there because my shoes are really really high heels so so yeah I'm not complaining you're gonna turn and face each other you're gonna bow you're gonna turn and face the audience you're gonna bow and then you're gonna strike your pose when the audience says pose you ready it could be anything that you want <laughs> who are we <laughs> all right face the audience again. Again, looks slightly painful. Come over here first. All right, who are we? Do the again. Anyone go? So this is the booklet that I was talking about, and it seems that they've made a separate event for gaming. So that'll be interesting. I'll look that one up. Are we ready for the game? So this is actually the first time that I've seen people perform on the stage. I think usually we we miss it. So it's really nice to see the different uh, fandoms performing. This was very cool. This is Luxray from Pokemon. It had Pokemon music um, and was taking damage from an opponent. But because of copyright, I've had to remove the music. So just enjoy what you can see for now. Hey, 
Can I just say this looks already crazy, but when I've sped this up, it looks even more crazy. But this guy, wow, I don't know how he did that. Um, but I did notice that sometimes they um, kind of do this lesson for lightsabers where people can practice with a lightsaber. You know what, I think I would have bought one if I found it, but I didn't, I didn't see them. I think this was the winner for the um, competition here. I think she's a character from Death Note. I haven't watched Death Note in a long time, but maybe I'll revisit that. But she's a very good dancer. So this one, I think it was Sundrop from Five Nights at Freddy's. And the music was super creepy. I really like that they've done their own adaptation of it. I also love seeing cosplays like this because she's like a female browser and um, she's kind of, I think she made the costume herself and, and if you haven't seen the new Mario movie I really recommend it, especially in 3D. This was Ganyu from Genshin Impact and must I say there's more and more Genshin Impact cosplayers because when I first went I was the only one. This is a character from Doki Doki Literature Club. I won't be able to tell you which one because I can't remember. Princess Zelda from Smash Bros. So this is the Smash Bros variant. She's got a lot of different looks. I'm not sure what this one was. This one was a cherry blossom Hatsune Miku, it was very cute, have a little parasol there. This one was Alicia from Honkai Impact 3, I think I'm saying Alicia right? It's nice to see some Honkai Impact instead of Genshin Impact. This one was from Fire Emblem. This one was absolutely gorgeous. Very well made cosplay. I think this 
first one was a VTuber. I'm not sure which one. I think I may have seen a picture of them. There may be a newer one. Um, but I don't get into VTubers too much because I don't really like the parasocial rem relationships that it gives people. So yeah, I have dipped into VTubing, but not not much. So these two nice princesses. This is Belle from Disney. It was quite a lot of Disney actually this time. Um, there's not usually as many Disney cosplayers, so that was nice. More variety this time as well. So there was actually quite a lot of um, Zelda and Link cosplayers this time because of the new game um, Tears of the Kingdom. It's a very good game by the way. If you haven't played Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom I really recommend it. But that was his Hyrule Warrior outfit. Now this one is Mercy from Overwatch. I think it's probably one of the skins that Mercy has. So this one is very well made. I think there's a YouTuber that made a tutorial on how to make the strawberry Hatsune Miku outfit. So I think this person has made this by themselves which is very admirable because it looks very difficult. This is Bakugo from Boku no Hero. I think this one was Poison Ivy, yeah. Kokomi from Genshin Impact, very lovely costume, very cute, I love Kokomi. I got Kokomi when people underrated her because she is the best healer and not only that she's really good with reactions with Dendro. This was the Queen of Hearts I think. This is Tokyo Mew Mew, so this is one of the first animes that I watched actually. Can I just say, wow, wow, wow. The wings on this was just amazing. I think this was meant to be Maleficent, but oh my gosh, that is just, I don't know how you would have made that amazing.
think this was another Zelda. I'm not sure which, which outfit this is, but I have I have seen this somewhere. Scaramouche, Scaramouche. He's from Genshin Impact. This was the last one, so this was from Frozen. I hope you enjoyed the video. And now we have Buzz coming home. <laughs> <laughs>